What's going on guys, it's Joe with Tactical Hive, and uh, today I've got Miles with me. He's down here in the Florida, joining me at my range. We're gonna do something fun. Now, normally I run an Atlas Hyperion. Ironically, Miles also has an Atlas Hyperion. <laughs> and while it's a phenomenal pistol, they shoot really well, incredible trigger. Um, we wanted to test something out. So I shoot professionally, right? That's what I do. I like to go around the country, all over the world, teaching, shooting, competing, all kinds of shenanigans. But we wanted to see what would happen if we put Miles with his Hype, or Hyperion versus my P320. I got a stock SIG P320, just got a flashlight on there. And we want to put, go, go head to head and see what happens with professional shooter versus- The enthusiast. The Yes, and, and, and Miles is by no means, he's not a, a shabby shooter whatsoever. He's a phenomenal shooter. Um, he's pushing his training really hard. That's why we're out here today is we're just getting better, right? We're always trying to get better. So we're going to take Miles, put a $5,000 pistol in his hands, and we're going to do three different drills. So we've got a walk back drill. We're going to do a Texas Star, and then we're going to go ahead and do an actual course of fire. Miles with this expensive, awesome gun. Um, I get to put mine down, unfortunately. I, I love shooting this thing, but we got to put it down. Uh, and then I'm gonna run my, P, my P320, just a $500 gun versus a $5,000 gun, and just kind of see what happens. And we'll have an after action report for you as well. So stay tuned. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. We've got the first course of fire. Just measured it out, we're at 25 yards. Just gonna do the walk back drill. So uh, you shoot one. Okay. We have one makeup shot. All right. And then I'll shoot one makeup shot. Shots can be, gotta happen before three seconds. We're gonna have a three second part time on this. All right. Draw, get an accurate shot, three seconds. All right, let's do it. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. There you go, 201. Nicely done. I'll trade you off here. Okay, let's hit it. Alright, shooter ready. Yep. Stand by. Alright, 165. 165. So let's move it back. Um, what do you think? We got uh this is 30 yards right, right here. 30 yards. Are you ready? Stand by. 196. And by 174. All right, moving back. Right here, we're at 41. 41, 41 yards. All right. Stand by. Woo! 191. 191. Killing it. Here you go. Shoot it ready. Yep. Stand by. 176. Consistent right there in those 17s, man. 51. 51. Another 10 yards back. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Stand by. Oh, 283. Miss, Try it again. Miss, miss. Get that makeup right. shot. Ready? Stand by. Oh, Just off to the right. All right. 204. You pushed the speed on that yeah. one, man. You were <laughs> cranking it off. Right, let me try. Let's let's All see right. where let's see where we're at. Treat you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, we yeah. both missed it up back oh, here. Yeah. All right. So we, should we push it farther back? Uh, yeah. Let's take, see. Let's, let's take it back farther. We, yeah. we got to go out of here to seventy-five and see what happens. Stand by. Woo! Two sixteen. My man. Solid. Oh, there we go. Made the hit, but <laughs> let's try it one more time. Let's All see right. if we can push that in with one shot. You ready? Stand by. There we go. Wow. 192. 192. So yeah. 75 yards, 192. You made it on the first hit, though. Yeah. So that's cool. it. That one, I think. This is where the gun can. I mean, definitely. Absolutely. A gun like the Hyperion helps out distance. Yes. I would think so. <laughs> so the, the biggest benefits with the Hyperion or any high-end gun at this range really is the front sight being a little bit thinner, a little bit crisper. Like these are just stock night sights mm -hmm. on it. It's really fat, wide sight. Um, the other big bonus is a good trigger, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And of course, uh, the Hyperion has an unbelievable, you know, sub two pound trigger right in that area. And I'm pulling a long press. Now, yeah. that's not to say like you can still get very accurate with this. Um, you just have to work the trigger farther. Uh -huh. That just gives the, that's where the, the edge really, really shines with something like that Whoa. and having that higher end. So, ready to try something else? Yeah, let's try something All else. All right, let's do it. All right, now that was fun, but now we've got a new test for you. We've got a Texas Star behind us. So, have you ever shot one of these? No, I haven't. All right, well, this, this is, this will be fun. Okay, I've shot this a few times, but I've showed you how to do it. Mm. 
let's see you execute on it. All right. All right. You ready to rock and roll? Are you ready? All right. Stand by. <laughs> that's that's a way to do it we had 12 shots <laughs> 765 let's <laughs> let's reset it <laughs> okay oh gosh you got it spinning on me already i feel like that's not fair all right we, we can stop it if you want no nah, screw it let's just send it all right shoot already yep stand by Got a little bit away from me there at the end too. Yeah, 417. <laughs> so 417 with uh, two extra makeup shots right there at the end. Um, does the gun make a difference? Some, some. We could say the gun makes some difference. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miles. Well, we're gonna finish things up with a course of fire. We got a couple of targets set up here. We're gonna do. You run it first. I'll run it in second. We'll check the hits. We'll check the time. To see who kind of finishes up better. So. All right. This is gonna be a good, right. good, fun way to wrap this thing up. All right, so let's give me that when you're ready. Nice run, 1562, 1562. So plate rack's clean. We've got. Charlie Mike, <laughs> we've got uh, two Charlie here, steel's all down. We got a Alpha Delta here and two Alpha on that one. So not a bad run. Okay, let's reset this and then I'll give it a shot. All right, <laughs> you ready to rock and see out? Okay, Whew. All right. pressure's on now. <laughs> ready. Yep. Stand by. So I got you by just under a second because you were right there, what, 15 something? I honestly don't even remember. <laughs> that's, well, what, that's what an enthusiast does. It doesn't keep track of time. Just, just go. Well, we'll figure that out here in a minute, but I got you by just about a, a second. I think we were 1590 something, maybe 1550, mm -hmm. somewhere in that ballpark. You were definitely 15, so not far apart, but uh, let's look at the hits, yeah. okay? I had a couple makeup shots on that one. Coming to this target here, the very first shot I took was up here and I called that shot. As soon as I pulled the trigger, I called that shot. I knew it was a little bit high. So I went ahead and made it up with another shot. I took three shots of the tart, two alphas, right? Uh, coming to this one, I messed up, right? I, this was my first shot. My second shot, I'm pretty sure I took when I was stepping down, forced my sights down low into the target. So I've got a mic back up there with you. <laughs> All right, we've got two alphas on this one and two alphas on that one. So other than the mic where, you know, everything else is clean, um, the gun itself doesn't make a huge difference, right? It does make some difference, don't get me wrong. Like I would still rather shoot my Hyperion, mm -hmm. but you know, changing guns up is not necessarily a bad thing. You're always gonna be better if you're shooting the same gun and get really comfortable and get used to that one. But changing things up, you know, doesn't necessarily hurt you overall. It's gonna give you more experience. I like to shoot different guns. I like to train with different guns because like, you know, if I'm, if I'm teaching a, a military law enforcement class or something like that, that's the gun that I'm gonna be running, something uh -huh. like this. I'm not gonna bring out my, my my super fancy race yeah. gun. Um, I want to be able to be personable with the people that I'm, I'm working with. Um, now that you're working with that, I'm going to go back and get my Hyperion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was a good time. I had, I had fun with that. So starting out with a walk back drill, we, we both broke down at 50 yards for whatever reason. I don't like, we both broke down at 50 yards. And then as we got farther back, that 75 yards, we really started to see where that Hyperion shines with a, a crisp front sight and a really good trigger over a stock stock sit sig mm. right um hit the star <laughs> <laughs> and now granted it's miles first time first so time. <laughs> not bad not bad um and now a lot of that comes down to focus but you know the gun doesn't play a huge part there shooting the, the actual course of fire of course that you know the gun does play a little bit of a difference but also you know it really comes down to execution and and training in my mm. opinion like i i think that 
you know, any really high level shooter with any gun can pretty much pick up just about any other gun and still perform well with it. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, I, I would say so because clearly the gun is phenomenal, but uh, <laughs> Joe was just beating the hell out of me and everything else. So. Well, I mean, it's, it, it comes down to just, you know, having a good time, mm -hmm. shooting what you got, okay? You don't have to have a $5,000 pistol to get into a competition or go, go take a class or anything like that. Like, if you've got equipment, run, run what you've got. Get comfortable with what you have. Mm -hmm. um, gear can help. There's an, a certain edge that the gear gives you, but uh, it's not necessary. So get good with what you got and you know, stay tuned for more content. We've got some awesome stuff coming up with uh, Tactical Hive and all the other SMEs out there and enjoy having you guys along for the ride. Get out there and train. Absolutely.